Wow, it's exhausting. What a day on Wall Street, folks. Have you seen the Dow down 635 points today? First world stocks tumbled after the first ever downgrade of America's credit. Then Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac stripped off their AAA rating, making it more volatile on Wall Street. The global economy a mess as oil prices have plunged. Your money is taking a hit here, and this uncertainty has investors in a panic. Financial expert Todd Schoenberger joining me now. Hey, Todd. Hey, Lauren. What do the folks at home do now? Oh, boy, I tell you, because there's, this doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon. And, you know, if realistically, though, if you are an investor, if you sell at this level right now, clearly you're just guaranteeing your loss. So you probably just want to hold on to these investments right now. However, if you're looking to get into the market thinking that we're going to have some type of a dead cat bounce tomorrow, don't even bother because I'm telling you, this thing is, is we're in for a rough going. And it's not not just a rough patch. It looks like it could last for the rest of the year. Todd, bottom line here is we got no growth. We need jobs. We need the housing market to improve. Now consumers are all panicked about spending money. That's right, and you t take all of those. I mean, listen, the household balance sheet has been completely decimated. I mean, you take a look at housing alone, that's in a depression. Then you take a look at consumer spending. Just last week, we had uh, the first time in the first in eight months that consumers were not spending as much money because clearly they are, they're afraid of their jobs, whether they're gonna lose their jobs. And now, obviously, you see those, those jobs number from Friday, and they, yeah, clearly we beat expectations, but still the number is not that great. So when you look at everything overall, what we really need some, we, we really need some good leadership right now. We need to improve confidence. We're not seeing it out of Washington, mm -hmm. and that's where it all starts. Well, it seems like the only positive that I saw today in any of this is maybe food prices coming down and the oil maybe relating to gas prices. Is that correct? Well, that's right. I mean, you're looking at $83 a barrel for oil right now. That's clearly right. going to help at the gas pump. That's going to help keep a couple of dollars in your pocket. But I'm not sure if it's going to be enough to offset all of the negative news right. that we have right now. All right. Well, well, as you know, Todd, S&P said this happened due to political gridlock in Washington. We want to have two people join the conversation now. Tea Party activist Anna Puig, Anastasia Perbilski, founders of the Kitchen Table Patriots. Ladies, thanks for being here. Thank you for having Thank us. You. A lot of blame on the Tea Party coming out of Washington today. What do you say about that? Well, I think they need to find a scapegoat somewhere. And, you know, when they're blaming the Tea Party now, I take it as a compliment. It means that I'm doing my job. I'm being effective and you know we're, we're holding the line here okay so you're holding the line but what what is the plan now what is the tea party offering in terms of job cuts what, how do we get the economy going? I think what we need to do is is grow the private sector and you know with five trillion dollars under Obama practically you know that's just making the regulations in the economy and the, the private sector is just very worried about the economy so they're not going to feel comfortable hiring you know now with Obamacare what it's going to cost them to hire an employee. So we really need to grow ourselves out of this. How do you grow the, how do you grow in the private sector? What do you do? Less regulation, you know, more tax incentives, uh, you know, t taxes uh, that make us competitive. Okay, so you're talking about tax incentives. The president came out today and he basically said we want those who can afford it to pay more taxes. At what point do you acknowledge the fact that we need to raise taxes? And if there are spending cuts out there, there are going to be people that lose jobs. We need to create more revenue, not raise taxes. If you raise taxes on the people who are actually creating the jobs, they're no longer going to create jobs. If they don't create jobs, we're not paying taxes into the government system. So his policies make absolute no sense. Todd Schoenberg is joining us now. Todd, you're our economic guy. Does this make sense to you? Yes, it does. First of all, the government's got to get out of the way. We talk about the regulations. You talk about higher taxes on, on individuals, which clearly is going to hurt the small business owner. Look, two out of every three jobs in this country are created by the small business owner. You don't want to penalize them for working hard, getting up early in the morning and, and hiring those people. Look, that's where the jobs are going to be coming from, and you got to get out of the way. And look, it's also an accountability uh, factor here. You shouldn't be blaming the TP party. You shouldn't be blaming Standard and Poor's. The government's got to look at themselves. This administration, they got to look in the mirror and say, look, what they're doing is wrong. Okay, so can we end the blame game? Because America's looking at what's going on in Washington, whether it's Republicans or Democrats going after the Tea Party and saying, Washington can't work together. How are we supposed to trust? Look, the bottom line is, it's not about the Tea Party. It's about the debt. This country mm -hmm. has been increasing the debt for many, many years. Under Barack sure. Obama, we more than double the debt that George Bush brought to the country under his eight years. So what we need to do is rein in the spending. We need mm -hmm. to cut the spending and we need to balance the budget. Okay, well, it's Congress that, that passes the budget here. I just want to hope that the Tea Party and Republicans and Democrats can all work together and we can move forward and, and help it away. everybody out there. Ladies, That's our hope. Todd, I really appreciate you coming in and talking about this. I'm sure there's much more to come on this subject you bet, in the next few weeks. All right, we're going